In this tutorial, we're going to explore how to record the iPad using Collaborate Ultra. You can notice that I've already logged in to my Lewis, and I'm in my Blackboard shell, and I've set up a Collaborate session here. So I'm halfway there. If we look at this, I can join this session at any time. We'll hold off on that momentarily. So to make this work, what do we have to do? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to open QuickTime Player. And once I open QuickTime Player, you can notice across my menu bar at the top, the QuickTime Player is available. I've hardwired my iPad in, so it is connected to the computer at this point. Now what we'll do is while we're in the QuickTime menu, we'll go to the File menu. Under File menu, navigate down to where it says new movie recording. We're not actually making a movie here. We could do this as screen recording I suppose as well. When we select this, this will take just a moment here, we'll be given a variety of different options. If your iPad screen doesn't appear right away, you'll want to select next to the record button there's a little drop down chevron and you'll want to select iPad for this. Once you do that you'll now see that the iPad is displaying on my screen and any movements that I make you can go ahead and see already. So that's the first part. Now that we have the iPad connected to the computer and we can see that simultaneously we're going to go ahead and we're going to navigate in to our Collaborate session, and we're going to join the session, just like we would any other Collaborate session. And once we do this, we'll navigate into the right-hand side, lower quadrant, where there's the purple Open Collaborate panel. When we open this, we'll look for the third icon at the bottom that says Share Content. We'll navigate under Share Content to Primary Content, and then go to the second one down that says Share Application Screen. When we select this, we're going to want to choose the middle one that says Application Window. Now keep in mind that we're actually linking the iPad through QuickTime Movie Player. So I need to select Movie Recording here, even though I'm not actually recording anything yet. We'll select Share. And now at this point, you can see here that I have two screens off to the right hand side, and I see this is a little confusing, is my iPad screen. And you can also see that when I'm in the web browser portion, I'm actually sharing and recording my screen that's on the iPad itself at this point. So as I move, you can see that the movement is captured and all functionality in the iPad is now being recorded into our Collaborate session. Except we're not recording yet. Keep that in mind. Remember, just as a friendly reminder to everybody, that to record in Collaborate, you come to the upper left-hand corner and you have to always start and stop the recording. Just keep that in mind as you work with this. And that's how you share your iPad screen in a Collaborate session. Mm -hmm. If you have more questions about this, please feel free to visit us at the Faculty Center for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning. And if you'd like to find out more tips and tricks on how to use your iPad for presentation, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube playlists and channel.